and just kind of I was saying as you were talking of like this is probably something for a student to work on really fun too of kind of thinking about the whiteness and the white privilege that you have where it's like here's we can have this discussion about who owns the body for the white soldier yeah but we're all okay with looting Native American graves yes. to look at skulls and bones and figure out what why Native Americans are in part inferior as a result of their skeleton remains. Right, absolutely. And and I thought that that was fascinating too in that I found that the Army Medical Museum and the, the Surgeon General's office um, kind of had to work extra mm -hmm. to justify this to the white public by saying this is a continuation of the soldier's duty. This is the most patriotic thing that these dead soldiers can do. It's not that they actually didn't do the the most patriotic thing by dying. They can still do something more for their country by doing this. They don't do that with Native American bodies. They, there's no need to. There's no need to justify the collection of those bones, right? They can just they are simply scientific specimens to them. Um, but they had to do a little bit more legwork with white soldiers. It doesn't always work, <laughs> you know? There's still a lot of soldiers say like, uh, no, <laughs> you're not getting my buddy's body, right? Um, or they complain about it in, in newspapers later on or something along those lines. But um, they at least make the attempt to mm -hmm. recast the collection of white soldiers' bodies in this very patriotic way. 